Little Haiti neighborhood. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega spoke with a family member of a woman who was sexually assaulted. Aralia. Elliot, the rape victim who did not want to speak with me on camera, told me that she's been living in fear ever since Thursday morning since his attack took place, and she will probably live in fear for the rest of her life, she tells me. Her stepmother talked to me exclusively about her encounter with Tavares Canty. I want to ask him to stop harming people. I hope they've stopped him now. I hope they never let him out of jail. A sigh of relief for this woman who does not want to be identified after finding out the man accused of raping her stepdaughter at their little Haiti home Thursday morning has been caught. I was taking two of my daughters to school. It was around 7.45 when I left her to go drop them off. The stepmother says when she came home, she came face to face with Tavares Canty after he raped her stepdaughter. But the stepmother says she didn't realize what had happened until after Canty left their home. The victim's stepmother says Canty jumped this fence in order to gain entry onto their property. You can see this whole backyard is fenced off. He then walked through the backyard and made his way inside the home through that door. The stepmother says when she came home, she noticed muddy footprints that turned out to be Canty's, leading to her stepdaughter's bedroom. It was on this bed because on the other one is where her newborn baby was. She says all of a sudden, Canty emerged from the bedroom with her stepdaughter, cradling her newborn baby in her arms. She came out looking like she was intimidated. I wasn't scared because they came out of the room together. I imagine he threatened her. I thought he was a friend of hers. She says once Canty left, her stepdaughter began shaking uncontrollably. She wouldn't stop crying and shaking. I took the baby. Another woman seen on surveillance video fighting Canty off as he tried to force her inside her home is also thankful he's been caught. I'm um, still like in shock. I'm kind of it's crazy. The rape victim tells me she was so terrified after her encounter with Canty that she temporarily moved out of her home. She says now that he's been caught, she's moving back, but with extra security in place. Live in Little Haiti, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News.